So welcome to Civics Econ 2020-21. I am Adam Kirby. I'm your civics teacher this year, civics econ teacher. We'll talk about that more in a minute, but I just want to welcome you to Central. Welcome you to um, room four, which is what you see behind me. Some of you may be here. Some of you may be wherever you are at the moment. Um, I want to say a few words about the class, the way the class is structured in this video. There will be some other videos that come after this that talk about schoolology and how assignments are posted in schoolology, how I will be communicating through that platform with you. Um, but before we get into those details and specifics, let's just talk a minute about what this class is and what it isn't. So I've taught civics for a long time. I really enjoy the class. It's an engaging content, that, which I think is designed to engage you, the student, but I also find it an in interesting content and engaging in that way as well. The purpose of this class is unlike any other class you may have had. A lot of classes that you have have a, a, a core of knowledge that they want to pass on to you so that you lo learn that knowledge and you can move forward on that knowledge. This is a class that's not as interested in imparting a set knowledge to you as it is engaging you in the systems and structures that surround us so that you can participate in advanced ways participate in meaningful ways to effect and affect change in society. So this course is, is different in that regard in that what we talk about in here and what we shoot for in here, what I feel my obligation as a teacher is in here is to get you excited and committed to being a Participatory, a participatory member of our society. We, in this class, will of course talk about political institutions, governing institutions, social and cultural institutions. We'll, we'll talk about how all of those institutions have evolved and where they are now. And more importantly than that, though, we will talk about how we as citizens of this country access those institutions and make those institutions accountable to us, the, we the people. And that's what we, we are striving for in this class. When we have discussions, when we have comments, when we um, are, are doing back and forth, you're doing discussion threads on schoolology, or you're reading some, someone's writing, or you're you know, we're discussing something live or virtually, then it's really all geared towards pushing us into being advanced citizens. An advanced citizen is somebody who in this country understands the institutions, understands how they work, understands why they work the way they do, and then sees how they can voice their voice can penetrate that institution. So this class will challenge some assumptions that you have, some assumptions that you have about knowledge, some assumptions you have about your own experiences. And that shouldn't threaten you and that shouldn't, that shouldn't scare you. It, it's meant to push us into being advanced citizens. The class itself, um, you know, as we're thinking about civics and what it really is, is this understanding that when the framers said, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union, what they were really saying was that we have to be engaged. We have to know our responsibilities, our rights, and how we live those out. So this, this class is, is really about that. Um, this class is this 
civics is the spring semester. In the fall, you, you're slated to take economics. So whether you're virtual right now, looking at this in some other location, or you're here in the room looking at this, I want you to look at your schedule. And I want to see, I want you to see uh, what your schedule says. So whatever period you have me right now, whatever period you have Mr. Kirby, I want you to see if that spring semester in economics, you have Mr. Kirby. If you do not have Mr. Kirby in your economics class, you need to fix it. You need to email your counselor. You need to be asked to be put in my room for fall civics, economics, spring. We're, we're trying to get all of our students to be with us for the entire year. It's important that this is a core class. We need to have our students the whole year. So please check your schedule right now to see if you have who you have for economics in the spring. And if it's not me, it's not Mr. Kirby, you need to email your counselor, request that you be put in the same period. So if you're in A1 civics, you want to be in A1 economics with me. If you're in A2 civics, you want to be in A2 economics with me. If you're in B1 civics, you want to be in B1 economics with me. If you're in B2 civics, you want to be in B2 economics with me. If you're in B3 civics, you want to be in B3 economics with me. So whichever period you have me for civics, you want to have me for that same period in economics. So please look at your schedule, check that out, email your counselor, if, uh, if it's messed up. Sort of a clothing, clo clo closing thought about, uh, about where we are right now in a pandemic. Um, this, is, this is, I know, unusual for you right now. You're sitting here listening to your teacher. It sounds funny on the video. It sounds funny in real life. You're like, I think he's wearing a Muppet shirt. He's got something painted on the back of his wall, which, by the way, is more Muppets. I, it's weird. I get it. I understand. But it's where we're at right now in this world. And we are doing what we can do. I'm ask, I'll ask that you do the best you can do. I'm doing the best I can do. That's all we can do. That's all we can ask of each other. I, I hope that as we do this, it can also be used to help push us through and push us onward into being a more civil, a more just, and a more equitable society. Um, it's, going, it's going to challenge you, this class, it's going to challenge you in ways that other classes don't. They're not going to have a lot of homework in this class. They're not going to have a lot of reading every day in this class. You'll have some of those things, but not like you do in some of the other classes that you have. Because really, I want your focus when you're in this class, when you're thinking about this class, when you're out on the streets, whatever. I want you thinking about what we talk about in here and how is how are those things pushing us forward? Um, that That's really what I want. Uh, that's what I want us to achieve is a level of maturity and seriousness when it comes to the discussions of our our nation and the plight of our nation that we're in right now. The pandemic is a good example. Developed nations around the world have dealt with this and have lowered their numbers and have safely reopened society. Why has America not done that? Why do we have 170,000 needless deaths to the coronavirus? The institutions that we have in our country have and are failing us. They have failed us, they are failing us, and, and we will learn about those institutions in this class, certainly, but more importantly, 
than learning about the institutions. We will learn how to access those institutions and place our voice upon those institutions to affect change. So, um, like I said, this is an unusual experience for all of us. Uh, this is just a welcome video, so welcome. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you, meeting you, seeing you face-to-face, -face, meeting you virtually, whatever the case may be. And uh, peace.